Hey guys, I've come out tonight for a bit of a solo run. Buddy, I don't mind a bit of a solo run. It can get a bit, bit hairy, but also can be nice and easy as well. Just got the, the girls out. I'm just sort of poking around. And hopefully we get some. I think I've missed the pigs because farmer's been seeing them earlier and I'm a bit late. I'm always late. But I've got a new not I've got a new light, a new O light. I don't know if it's taken the place of the other one yet, but this is a new one. This is called uh, Seeker 4 Pro. This is the new improved version, and it's got a, it's like an on here, and you can wind it up. I'll, I'll, I'll show you on the ground here. Put it on, you can wind it up by that. And wind it back down. Wind it down like that. Wind it right up. Anyway, we're going to give it a bit of a whirl tonight, and I'll fill you in as the hunt goes on. We'll fill you in. So I'm going to get up into the paddock here. I got my Jabalot Mini on the top of my rifle. I've had Demana on there because I've left my Jabalot Pro at home. I was charging. I forgot it, didn't I? So I got the little Mini on top, but she does me proud. Um, and I'll let you know how the uh, Seeker goes. The Jabalot, uh, the buddy. Olight Seeker Pro 4. Something like that, yeah. We'll just call it the Java. We'll just Java. We'll just call it the Olight Seeker. At the moment, we'll call it the Olight Seeker. And we'll let you know how it goes for the hunt. So tonight's hunt, I'm going to approach this block a little differently. Because every way I go in the other time, I keep missing them. But if I'm going, I'm gonna go do it back to front. And I'm gonna come in through the cattle country onto crop where I usually come in from crop and work through cattle. But every time I do the loop backwards, I always seem to run into them sort of mid-hunt or when I'm leaving the hunt. So I'm gonna try that tonight. So hopefully we get a bit of action, but tonight's task is get one, get something. Because I'm looking for a bit of pork, for a bit of pork mince, for a bit of venison I got. I wanna make some sausage and beer sticks. So that's tonight's effort, is try and get something worthwhile of butchering. Anyway, let's get Buddy into it. It's a bit hard to spotlight and film and drive it all at the same time, but you catch my drift. drift. I'm just driving along using the dogs to nose, just flicking the spotlight here and there, hunting the dogs up the back, wherever they are, they're on the other side, the wind's blowing the other way. So, that's all we're doing, just driving in. So, we'll keep driving, we'll see if we get on. Hopefully, this is one of these blocks, it's either you're on or you're not. Dogs are getting a bit keen here on the back, but it'll just pick the pace up just to make sure it's just not a shit run. I want to make sure it's a decent run. So anyway, we'll just keep going. I'm working on the left side. So anyway, I'll put this thing down because I spent too much time trying to tell you what's going on and not trying to smack a pig. Just hit the mob. I don't think much happened there. Couldn't couldn't hold the fucking spotlight. Couldn't couldn't really do much actually. So I sound like I hit one. Lola wheeled one. But other than that, I don't think much is happening. Molly jumped too early. Anyway, we'll get up here and have a bit of a look, I suppose. See what happens. Oh, go pig, pig. Fucking wire.
Belt Seeker Pro. Pretty handy ball by the looks. Good ball. Handy ball. Old Seeker Pro. Good dogs. Good dogs, good dogs, good dogs. Quality. Good dog. Lola, Lola. Good dog. Come here. Come on. Good dog. Come here, look at you. Turn all my other lights off. Pretty decent. Real decent, actually. Look at the flood on it. I do have another one here. Oh, what? Dogs have run on. I dropped Lola on on one. And that's what that's that one. I did shoot one. Some cows up here. But just look at the spread on that. That's flat out. That'd probably be what. Oh, to where the dogs are. Say. 100, 100 meters of really wide beam. Obviously the GoPro is not going to do it any justice. Jeez, it's a good bloody beam. Anyway, let's keep going. Cut me leg up here. Coming through the fence. How did I know that was going to bloody happen? Left the bloody Jabalot Pro at home. Had the mini, the mini's still done a duck, she still bloody goes, right? What are you doing? You had a sucker or something? Bloody wash this cut here. The staple of bloody up. Oh, she's more of a bloody, a busted bloody, like a tear more than anything. Oh, oh. where are you doing? Where's your girlfriend? Still out there. Oh, well. Still out there working. What are you doing? Oop, now Molly's gone. What's going on here? Right, we got the bloody dogs back. We got the dogs back. Uh, I sort of used Lola a bit, bit of a drop dog because she was like Molly jumped. She's seen the pigs in the spotlight. She jumped and I don't know what she grabbed, some sort of shitter. Um, luckily, I seen Lola break that boar out of the mob. And I turned and I shot, had a shot at something else. So I'm going to go back up that way and see if I can uh, find what I was shooting at. Um, hopefully he's laying in the paddock. Hopefully it's a sow for a bit of meat. I don't really want to eat an old rank old boar. But, oh well, it's just a bit of bloody, it's just a bit of bloody uh, beer stick. And he may just do nicely. Anyway, give Lola a bloody bit of a go. That bloody Olight, Jesus Christ, it's impressed me so far really wide really that'd be really good for filming um obviously i like head torches uh, because i got to do everything myself no one else gives me a hand but um it's just one of those things isn't it let me just get back in here i'm on the blub the farmer's buddy rang me he said oh shit i heard a commotion you're all right i said yeah mate it's just me caught up in the fence carrying on like a bloody idiot anyway see what else we can find turn this off but yeah as i said i like head torches but if you've got another person with a torch like that even there it was fine even there it was fine buddy he's got the adjustable um beam on it if you can see you can see i was adjusting it um but yeah anyway i'll get this thing out of my face i'm going to keep hunting i'm going to keep driving around and, and see if we can um get back onto some pigs that may be wounded or maybe doggo here in this grass because that's what they seem to do here they'll lay up in this grass in this cattle country um they'll lay doggo in it and you seem to seem to be able to mop up a couple extra but they're a fair way out and that's the problem with that thing unless you got someone here to follow them like 
I used to go all right shooting roos. But the old roos sort of stands there. The old pig, I tell you what, I'm out of practice. I used to be able to, with the, with the rest, shoot and use the light at once, but I'm a bit out of practice and I don't have me buddy shooting the rest, so. <laughs> and me night gun I used to use doing that. My scope was so far forward so I could get a good eye relief where you could never shoot it off the shoulder because of how dicky it was. But anyway, no excuses, no excuses. Let's keep going, we'll keep hunting. Just driving around, I'm just thinking, because I was driving along beside him for a little bit, trying to get a better shot, trying to trying to block him up as such. Um, and because I wanted to get a bit closer, because the little Javelot Mini doesn't have... I was trying to get a little bit closer too, because the little Javelot Mini doesn't have the throw, like the pro, the big fella. So, <clears throat> I was trying to get up there, but... Lola, I watched Lola cut the, probably the better boar out of them, and I shot the next better one. So it looked like there was a few like bigger sows, but the, we managed to. Well, I definitely thumped the boar. I had a bit of a look at the other one. I didn't really see any holes in him, so it wasn't that one, and I wasn't shooting that one anyway because I was watching Lola through the scope blo um, break him out. And Molly, or I don't even know what she was there. I think she was there for moral support. She jumped first and got a sucker, and then she obviously heard the action and, well, dropped off. But anyway, I don't really remember seeing any other boars in there. And that's for everyone out there that likes to catch boars. For me, that's 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 a disappointment in, in how many I got. Usually I could smack five or six, get two of the dogs and shoot, you know, two or three. To me, that's... A failed hunt because I should have got more for the farmer and it, that's nothing to brag about catching a boar out of a mob to breaking a boar out of a mob for me anyway because I gotta you know I've got to say to the farmer hey mate yeah I broke a good boar out but the other bloody mob of pigs is free and clear farmers like to see sows because they're the breeders and I should have realistically got you know two or three or four out of that and you know just just saying to everyone guys like to me like that's not a successful hunt when i catch three four five six seven shitters in this country here that's successful because what i'm trying to do here is pest control i'm not doing it for the fun of it well i sort of am but i'm also trying to hey i put my name out in the area saying hey look i can do this and most of the time I can here, most of the time I can. Um, look, I got the one there and I hit another one that's probably gone in the grass. So I got two, but two out of however many I've seen there, you know, a good, good size amount is, is not enough. It's not enough for me, but you know, I know I'm better than that. I know the dogs are better than that. And, and for me, and for me to accept that, make me a better hunter for next time. I knew if I did it the way I did it tonight, I'd get onto them. But I caught myself off guard in the sense of I was sort of rushing to get out here. I didn't have another torch on my rifle and blew it in that sense. So anyway, I'm gonna quit yapping. We're gonna keep getting on with this hunt because we might be able to just lick our wounds. We might be able to go to the other end of the farm and, and redeem ourselves, hopefully, because I'm not happy with that. Oh, I wanted to get a few more out of there than what I did. Anyway, keep going. Righto, the wind's just changed its direction. It's coming in from my left now. So I'm going to race up here and hit this other end of the farm. I would just started to go around to the other end and then it would have been blowing my scent and sound across the farm. So I'm going to change my tack and go around the opposite side now. I find here it's not so much your scent that puts them off, it's your sound. Because it's, it travels here, it travels a lot. Anyway, <clears throat> we'll get around there and we'll start running it from the other direction. To have gone back behind me and back around, they're just working out in this bit of stubble here, there's like bits of bits of scrub still in the stubble paddock here and they're just working around one of them so just having a bit of a listen more than anything we'll see what happens they're sort of working pretty well so with any luck we get them in the 
open country, but my luck, they go up the bloody hill or something, so, you know, we'll put this thing down. Or whatever, so. Right, I can hear the dogs up something, half handy, I can hear them yapping. So I'm just going to race up to this corner here, where they most likely blow, and see if I can sort of get in front of me, or race up and get a shot or something, and see what happens. Sand like I got in. Oh, cows are mobbed up on them. Cows are mobbed up. The cows will try and push the dogs off. We're gonna go up there and help the dogs out. Where is it? In the lantana, I think. Oh, yeah, they got him in the yard here. Careful walking. Oh, he's a good pig. I'm gonna fucking blow him. Good dog. Good dog. Go around this way. Good dog. Make that safe again. Good boy. Quality, quality boar. Look at this, Molly's had him on the on the goat's bag here. That's how she seems to pull him up. Lola, good dog, come here. Uh, of course I run in on him on the wrong way. I run in him on the wrong way, he was gonna look like he was gonna rush me. So I just put one up the spout. But as I grabbed him, I managed to open the bolt one-handed just to make it safe. There's no heroes when you're solo hunting. None at all. Doesn't matter how you get them, as long as you do it safely. And humanely. Humanely for the dogs and the pig. Come here. Give me a look at you. Just... Okay. How are you? <sighs> Give me a look at you. <sighs> yep, you're all right. Dogs seem all right, but yeah, we'll walk in this direction. I try not to use my tracker if I can, like, obviously sometimes you need to, but. This is something like 4,000 something lumens, this thing. And look how big it is in my hand. Now I'll turn it down a little bit, I don't need it that bright. I'm only walking out. But yeah, I got up to where they blew across and I thought, oh, I'll just pull up here. They were 160 meters off me. And I heard him. <laughs> thought, you bastard. Hey? Eh? Anyway, let's get back to this ute. Get in here and get him out. What do you dogs reckon? Okay. So where they jumped is usually where the pigs come in and they either head back out there or they do what he did. Now, I thought, oh, there might be a mob here. There might not be. But that's a quality lone boar. Um, look, he'd go close to the ton. Or if He might even go just over. I don't know if he'll go over. I'll, I'll know. I'll go in and drag him. I'm just trying to get on the farmer how to get in there. Um, he did text me, but he might be on the nest already, but I'll find out. But I'll keep running the, the farm, see if we can get onto another one. I've marked him. If not, I'll, I'll just walk in there and dra try and drag him out. I don't want it. I don't like leaving him in the paddock. I like to um, put him in a dump. That's what I like to do. Personally, I like to make a dump somewhere that's out of the way. The cattle can't get it. No one can run over the bones and stake tyres, that sort of thing. That's just me. Um, most people just, I'll oh, leave him there. And that's fine uh, if your farmers say that, but Tim and I do. I had a lot of farms where I got to pull them out. So anyway, we'll keep going, have a bit of a look, but um, two good boars tonight. Obviously missed a few in a mob, which I'm pretty shitty at. I'm pretty dirty at myself about hit, hitting that and not hitting a few more. But anyway, we'll have a bit of it. We'll try and run this out and um, we'll see. I was going to hit another farm here too, but we'll have a look. 
I sort of just want to get easy pigs. I'm happy just with the easy pigs, but I better do the right thing and, and keep going. I'll tell you what, bloody praise the Lord for Google Maps, eh? Me and this farmer here, we communicate a lot by Google Maps. Hey, I'm here, pin drop. How do I get here? And then he'll just message back, draw a little bit of a line. Yep, that's through here. It's such, it's such a wonderful app, Google Map or Google Earth, I should say. And that's how I communicate with this farmer here and a couple of other farmers that I do hunt for. Such, it's just a wonderful app. Uh, I'm so happy for it. I'm happy that there's a farmer that communicates with me as well like that. It's such a good, it's such a breath of fresh air like the cane fellas do too. But cane's pretty straightforward. They're either in the cane or they're in the bush. And that's pretty much it. We're out here. There's so many different like areas to be. And um, you just touch base, yep, go this way, go that way, go this way, that way. All the one farm, obviously. It's just at night when I hunt a lot of this area here. It's really hard to find gates that are overgrown and that. And yeah, it's just a, it's just a really good thing, having that working working um, friendship, I suppose, when you're hunting. The farmer can lead you around and you can do the job for him. It's actually a breath of fresh air, actually. Anyway, I'm getting pumped up. I better, better keep going and see if I can put a bit of a dint in here. I've sort of been just out here for moral support lately. Just out here, oh, just checking the fences and that sort of stuff, you know. Quivering my lip. <laughs> anyway, anyway. I'll do this left-handed here. Oh. Anyway. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. I've already come out hoping to get some bloody sows. I usually have no drama smashing sows. Yeah, they're all quivering their lip. But tonight we've got two good boars. Obviously that boar that we just got is bigger than the other one, but I'm trying to get a few sours to buddy make some beer sticks. So anyway, I'll, I'll take these anyway. I'll take them home and I'll dress them out a bit later probably. Um, and we might have a bit of a, bit of a video on, on uh, making beer sticks and a bit of uh, game meat and how I prepare it. Uh, some places where I hunt pigs, I just don't eat the pigs just because they come out of the salt water and eat, eat and crustaceans and they're just, they're just not good to eat. Like, you can eat them. It's just whether or not you like seafood taste and pork. And I don't. But out here, even though they're boar or whatever, they'll be maybe a bit ranker. But no different to shooting a stag in the rut, you know, like hormones are racing, that sort of thing. So, you know, nothing wrong with eating them. You know, in, the, in New Zealand, they eat boars and sows. Doesn't matter. Uh, America, the same. So, anyway. Better get this out of my face. But I was supposed to be doing the bloody review on the um, Olight. We still are. We'll still give you a look at it. And I'll run through at the end of the video that how to use it properly. Just a bit going on at the moment. But I've been using it. I've been using it. I'm enjoying it so far. But, um, anyway... Keep, keep going, I'll look for this gate, just in case. Bloody, see the track, the dogs run, they jumped on and went out, <clears throat> sort of the same sort of loop. They could have come in and they blow out back in the same direction. But, fair loop, sort of 400 and then 500. So, and then back up again. So pretty, pretty good loop, pretty handy find actually. Especially it got a little bit of breeze blowing the opposite way and and that's because I changed direction now If I didn't change direction like I did when I noticed that breeze change And it only changed for about 10 minutes just enough to get that jump and just do that one boundary and it was enough It was more than enough. So Guys keep an eye out on your wind more so for sound than scent I find so there must be a pad just here somewhere there is Anyway All right I know for next time. Keeping the bloody mental note. Right, I'm going to go in the old faithful pig draggers and give them a bit of a bloody whirl. See if we can get him out. If not, if he's too heavy, I'm just going to take a photo um, and leave him in there and get him out another day during the daylight or whatever. But guys, we've seen him. We've seen him on video, so I've got nothing to prove. It's just more of a would have liked to do some sausages. But we still got one out in the open. But anyway, we're not going to ride. We're not going to ride him off just yet. We'll go in there and have a bit of a go. I'll take my bloody. Oh, I might leave. I might leave my belt on actually. I might just take me bloody. Oh, I'll take the dogs in just in case I got to throw them in front of a cow. If the cow old cow tries to trample me. Anyway, 
probably uh, might be easier if I take my belt off, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. And they trust the old pig draggers, so I'll put the old seeker down for a minute. Get some pig draggers on him. Get out of the way. Handy pig. I don't. I thought he might have been bigger than he is. I don't think he's going to be all that big. He'd probably be. I don't know. I don't know 80 kilos? I'll find out in a minute. Uh. 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 Oh. Alright. No draggers. Uh. I'm struggling here. But when you like beer sticks as much as I do, well, you do anything for a feed. The only reason I'm taking him is just in case, you know, if I, if I catch a better sow or something, well, so be it. But you know, take what you can get. He does smell a bit rank, but I'll make a call when I open him up when I finish the hunt. Anyway, we're not going to show you that in this video we'll do a separate video but anyway we'll keep going i'm, I'm blowing eh? i'm about halfway he was 300 in off the crop i need to make a bloody like a wheelbarrow setup because we'd be better we'd be pretty much made our buddy beer sticks by now anyway i'll make that tomorrow i reckon and i'll throw her on top of the crate for 10 meters of time but remember guys couldn't do without the bloody pig draggers. Cheap as chips, jump onto our website and get, get yourself some. Whew. I got two on there. Double whammy. Don't worry about that, these are like years old. I kinked the old handles doing things I shouldn't. Fuck me there. I'm dying. Like proper dying here. Anyway, <coughs> fuck it out. I'm dying. Anyway, I got it out. 50 minutes. I thought, oh, here he go his ton. He won't. He won't go his ton. Uh, I'd be surprised if he goes in a 90. I reckon he'd be 85. He could go just on 90, but I reckon he'd be more 80, 85. Um... I'm trying to catch my breath. Anyway, I'm going to get him up here. I've got these winches here. I bet he'd make these. Obviously, in better condition than they are. Jump onto my... Uh, well, I'll be trying to get them on the website. We've got to put them either onto a bloody uh, courier, like a trucking company, or through the Australia Post. Guys, Australia Post is killing us with these. Um, Postage-wise, and even just getting them on a the courier, like... We're doing them for, I think, at the, at the time of this video, I think they're like 350. Um, with with the hinges, like weldable hinges, if you want more, that sort of stuff. Now, you know, if you're local, if you're on in my area, like Fraser Coast, come in, I'll weld them on for you for nothing. Cash on delivery, whatever. But, guys, if you want them posted, message us. We've got a post on our page. We've been trying to put them on our website, but just because... The postage is so hit and miss with them. We can't really put them on there. So if you want one, reach out to me. I've got a heap made up. Um, everyone seems to want them, but no one wants wants to fork out the money. Or, and I understandably with postage and that, they start to be get quite pricey. You can build one yourself. But guys, look, if you're in in the area and you're local, well, if it's a cash sale, well, you might be able to sort something out there. But anyway. I'll get this pig up and then we'll talk. We'll talk a bit more about weights. So I'll go and get that other pig and then um, we'll have a bit more of a look at this O light. And we might finish off the night hunting another block. Right, we got him at, We got him weighed up here. He's not as big as I would have liked. Uh, bloody thing swinging around. What are they doing? 81. 81. See him hanging here. Molly, get out of the picture, you're a bloody. The ear split. I would have, um, I was about right, about 80, 
85. I'm just looking at his genetics. He's got, look at this, in his glands down here. Glands are all swollen in there. I see it a lot with scrub pigs that eat meat. Is their glands swell up here, but he's been battling. Look at this. Look at all the old battle scars on him. Little battles from another boar. And that tells me there's another bigger boar here or another boar similar size, another lone boar. But the glands swell up here and that's it, like scent glands. Now, it's not like he's been shot. It's almost like he's he's got something. I'm not going to play around with it. But seeing that swollen, knowing that's a gland, usually if you're sick, you've got um, a gland problem. So what we'll do is we'll get a different pig for sausage. Um... Uh, yeah, just he could have any sort of parasite or disease in him, but he, if he didn't have that, he probably would have been all right. He doesn't smell too bad, but anyway, I've noticed that a lot here. There's a lot of these boars I catch here. I've got swollen glands down in there, or they've got a bloody shit genetics, and their feet are all like different. But anyway, that's just good mountain pigs, could be all blown up in the front. Uh, like something might be stinging him or something up there, different, I don't know. Anyway, quick gas bag. He's a good style of pig. I'll give you a look. I really like the types of pig, these mountain pigs. Um, he got a good set of chompers on him. He did get molly up the ear, but he is bleed. So... Anyway, we're going to throw the other one on. The other one would be about, well, maybe around 70. Be about similar size. But anyway, good night, good pig. I won't be dragging the other one out, I can tell you. 50 minutes of hunting time. I thought I'd get it out and do the right thing. <laughs> the old farmer reckons, don't even be stupid, leave it there. It's a graveyard anyway. <laughs> <coughs> anyway. Anyway, we'll take his advice next time. We'll leave the bastard there. Leave the bastard there, I reckon. But anyway, Lola's made a nasty Lola. Anyway, I'll get a couple of happy snaps for the old farmer, anyway. Or well, young farmer, I should say. I suppose I'm an old bastard. He's about my age, I suppose. Anyway, anyway. We'll keep. Oh. 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 A war horse. Three-legged war horse. Get up. Anyway, <laughs> I'm talking shit. Oh, I've got the old O-Light on here too. The old bloody Perrin 2 O-Light. This is the big one. Guys, use a link in the description if you want one of these. These are a good bloody thing too. Like, I think they're, they're pretty cheap and they're pretty good. I'm filming with it tonight. The bloody lead lasers give me the shits because they've got shit bands on them. So I've been rolling this. I've been rolling this. With the seeker, I'm seeing. I reckon I'm getting some good footage. Anyway, fucking shit. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Right, oh, there's bloody the old fan here. Right, we got the pig up. I'm gonna go over and get the other pig. I'm gonna hunt back over to the other pig. See how we go. I'll throw it up, and we'll see how we see how we go. And after that, we might do the block out or do another block. We'll see how I'm feeling. If I feel like going up the mountain again. Anyway, <laughs> seems awfully, awth I can't even say the word I'm trying to say here, but awfully enthusiastic, and let me tell you, I'm just bounding the joy. Anyway, we'll, we'll go over and pick it up and we'll see what it goes. I probably won't weigh it, I'll probably just throw it up and get it off the paddock. Um, I probably won't weigh it because he's definitely a bit smaller than this one, but by, by some random reason it is bigger. Feels bigger when I'm dragging it, well then we'll wait. If not, we'll just throw him up and we'll keep going. We'll keep going for a little bit, hopefully. Look at the light this thing puts out. Yeah, I can't get over it. For a little torch, like look how big it is in my hands. Like look at that. Big battery in it, 5,000 milliamp. Anyway, I'm just going over this pig here. Pig draggers, remember guys? Bloody is. I'm definitely not as big. Oh, well, still a good pig, but. Really good little pig. See they're real taper in the ass. Must be the mountains here. Yeah, little skinny asses on them, eh?
I'm feeling a bit better. We'll get out there and we'll whack this pig up because this pig feels like he's definitely... I'm not going to bother weighing him because I want to go and have a bit of a look somewhere else. But we'll throw him up anyway. But guys, Seeker Pro, Seeker 4 Pro, whatever it is, we'll use a link in the description. I don't even think it's out yet, to be quite honest with you. So four LEDs in there. I'll tell you what, she throws some bloody light, I can tell you. Fuck me dead. I can't even get out of the case. Fuck's sake. Fuck me dead. Look, look at that. That ridge there, you can see, that's probably, I don't know, 150 metres, 100 metres? But at its widest point, like, it's really hard to show you. At its widest point, it'd probably be 75 metres wide. 50 to 75 metres wide. Like, look at it. Obviously, this camera's not doing it any justice, but Jesus Christ. Don't get much easier than this, I can tell you. Should have just went the fucking other leg to start with, for fuck's sake. Anyway, I fucked that up. What a great selling point that is. Oh well. Right, I, I got him up. He's probably, I reckon he'd be around that 75, I'd say. He's probably, he's slightly smaller than this other bugger here. Like, I'll show you here. You can just see him just slightly smaller, but he'd still be maybe 10 kilos lighter. I'll give you a look. See what I mean? He's just slightly smaller here. Just slightly smaller. He's still a good pig butt. Both around that, well, I'd say 75, when that one was 80. He'd be probably 70, I'd say. Still a good pig. Real good pig. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. Two good boars. Happy in a sense that you can be happy. Like, still miserable about not being able to shoot a few more for the farmer. But anyway, there's no point being on the blub. We've still got two. And there's one getting around with a tummy ache because I definitely heard the footage. I, I, I actually, I heard the thump and I rewatched the footage back and I thought, ooh, there's a thump. It's not a twang like a rock or a dirt, like a thump. It's a different hit, different sound. People that shoot a few pigs will know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, we might run this block out and maybe just have a quick look at another block and call it a night. But... Anyway, I hope we can get another bloody easy one like that. Another one to fill up the rack. All quality bores would be good. <laughs> anyway, but... New dog got another one in you or what? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. You got another one in you, you think? Ah. Uh. What do you reckon? Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could shoot one. What do you reckon? You want to come along and be moral support? Oh, Molly's asleep. Or oh, Molly's asleep. Come along and be moral support. Be like a norm, uh, another passenger. They're already moral support usually. We'll let the dogs hunt, and I might buddy crank a bit of bloody music up. I think.
better be half serious now. We're hunting again. I better turn it bloody off. Just cutting between blocks. I should do some behind the scenes and see actually how loose it does get. It gets a little bit loose. <laughs> anyway, maybe not. I might kick off fucking YouTube, I think. <laughs> anyway, we might, we might leave that for another social media outlet. We won't go into it. I get a bit loose. I enjoy my own company. If that seems like people out there, like, oh, I don't want to solo hunt and whatever. I enjoy my own company. I have fun with myself. I'm still hunting. I'm bloody hunting another block here. And I'm, it's really hard for me to film and spotlight at the same time. So I'm just not, I'm just spotlighting and, and just getting on with hunting. So we get a bit of a jump or we get some action, I'll fill you in, but see how we go it, it'd be just either it's either on here or it's just not so if they if they if we get them in the open it's sort of straight away on uh, i don't really have time to tell you about it but if they have a bit of a jump and they're working around i can sort of tell you so keeping that in mind we'll keep hunting we'll keep hunting for a bit and we'll see how we end up I'm going up the creek. I can feel the energy, energy. It's like you're standing next to me, me. You're forever on my mind. You're forever by my side. Won't you hold me closely? I don't want to fail. I'm not looking forward to going down there, I can tell you. Come here. Underneath. 30 meters would be fine, but it's not going any further than that. Come out! Look all that bad, but... Molly, come on! This is a bit of a too steep for me. Come here! See if the three-legged dog can get up here. Come on! Come on! Where you going? Come on! You alright? Come here! Oh, you alright? Where's Lola? Come on. Good dog. Let's pack it up, I reckon. I run it up. Oh, the mountain goat's already up. We didn't hear the bar. Come on. Oh. Righto, guys. I'm finished up for the night. I bloody, I'm half slack. I want to get home and get on the bloody nest. But guys, look, a lot of you out there ask me, you know, what head torch or what torches do I do? You know, and I, I review a few torches here. One thing that I will, I've i never steered away from in my whole hunting career is I have a head torch. doesn't really matter what it is, but I have a head torch, a good head torch, and I have a secondary light. Now, this uh, Seeker 4 Pro is the perfect example of what I would have. Just like I use the uh, Javelot Mini, I use it on my belt. You've seen it in a number of my videos. I use it on my belt. It's a secondary light to me because, you know, if you're running or you're walking cane, or you're walking creeks, or you're out in the bloody middle of nowhere and your head torch goes flat, well, you've got a secondary light. And you've also got a little bit of extra light if you're filming, that sort of thing. But even when I wasn't filming, I'd always have a secondary light. Now, that may have been a, a long-distance like light like the Javelot Pro, or something like this. But, guys, my final thoughts on this is this should make a great belt torch like it's 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 designed as a flood and it is it's it's quite a quite a good floodlight to be quite honest with you i'll just get it out here one-handed i'll just get it out it is a bloody good floodlight like jesus christ i'll give you a bloody you squeeze so it's got a it's got a little um little toggle here i'll show you so you just sort of wind it up there you wind it down so this is what you can sort of expect from it. And that gives, that's no, like, you doesn't do it justice. This just doesn't do it justice. But this is what you can sort of expect. So I wind him down. Wind him back up. Great little product. Great torch. Big battery. Very big, like, very good battery in it. Same battery as uh, the Warrior. 
And I'll give you a look at the, the, the um, Javelot Mini in comparison. It's a thousand lumen. So it's more of a spot. It's more of a spot beam. It's more of a spot beam. One, the Javelot's a thousand lumens. This other one's 4,000 lumens, guys. So great little torch. It's got, it's got all sorts going on. <clears throat> it's got like a magnetic charger and everything. It's got all sorts going on. But guys, look, like for these torches, the, the selling point to me for these torches are the cases. Like the cases to me are like phenomenal. Like they are, they are phenomenal. But guys, my pick of these two for a belt torch is definitely this Seeker. This Seeker froze some bloody light. Like it froze some light. And it's perfect for me to see what the dogs are doing, search and that sort of thing. Um, obviously, if you can't afford the Seeker, the Javelot Mini is the next option I would choose. Um, I love this little light. Like, I really do love it. But I think the Seeker is going to take its place because it's worlds apart if you're looking for a flood. They, they actually come in two different um, brightness settings. So you can get them in, like, 4 to 5K or from 5 to 7K. But anyway, guys, I'll just show you. I'll finish up the video showing you what I've what the bloody pigs have got here but guys if you're looking for a, a great belt torch definitely this seeker and if you can't afford the seeker then go the mini but they have a number of options there guys and if you're looking for a head torch guys if you're looking for a decent quality head torch go the parent too the headband is magic i haven't had any issues with it it lasts well like i'll give you a look at it sort of a medium high turbo more than enough more than enough guys so here's the pigs here's the pigs that's what we ended up with so we're gonna love you and leave you guys i've been rambling a bit about these torches but olight supports us as hunters they donate prizes they help people out in the industry they support hunters in australia so guys support them support them next product you go to buy make it an olight because head torch we need as a hunter. Perrin 2, I think they're, they're very well priced. Use a uh, link in the description below. If you want a really good belt torch, um, this Seeker uh, 4 is, is <laughs> the bee's knees. I actually really, really like it. If you can't afford the Seeker, well, this is the next option that I have. But anyway, guys, we'll finish it up. Happy hunting. And well, what else can I say? Happy hunting. And good on you, Olight, for supporting us. Supporting a fellow, you know, a Queensland hunter, a Queensland dogger. For all people out there that sit down and go, oh, I've had a bit of bad blood with Olight or something like that. Well, maybe you should give him a second chance because it's very, very, very rare that an international company like Olight, sponsors a dogger or sends products to people like myself, other hunters, fishermen in Australia, like me, especially a dogger. So next time you're thinking, I'm going to buy a head torch, I'm going to buy a, a torch for my rifle, make it an Olight, guys. Look, I'm not trying to sell a product, I'm trying to support a company that supports me as a hunter. Anyway, guys, <laughs> bloody hell. Maybe Olight could make a bloody... Roof mount, Spotty, eh? What do you reckon? You reckon you could, um, you reckon you could make me one of them? You make something like that? Like the the okay. There's a test for you. Make, make me one of them baskets. I'm sure you'll sell a few of them. Anyway, guys, good run times. And remember, near the sales work, I like. Claudia!